In this video, we look into the question, what is Homeworld Mobile? And as a Star Citizen player, a completely different genre, but still very exciting. And eine deutsche Version des Videos findet ihr in der Videobeschreibung. Since the Homeworld brand is probably familiar to every sci-fi player, we are naturally skeptical at first, since this is a mobile game. At first, an important note, we are in no way connected with the developer Stratosphere games or Gearbox software, nor are we being paid in any way or receiving any other benefit for doing so. So these are our absolutely private, free and unbiased opinions. The trailers and advertisements of Homeworld Mobile, which is currently in a regional early access beta, promise a real Homeworld experience, and that on our mobile device. So we first check out the who is behind Homeworld Mobile in the first place and then jump straight into the game. We have already spent a few hours here and have been able to form an opinion. And for Heinz questions and your opinions about Homeworld Mobile, feel free to use the comment function, visit us in the Discord or in the regular Twitch livestreams. You can find the links in the video description. Homeworld Mobile promises us a dynamic real-time strategy battles in 3D, a real MMO with the possibility to explore a galaxy and all this in a mobile next-gen graphics to experience. In addition, different factions, ships and crew members, which are available as crew, are specified as further features. So there is definitely no shortage of announced features here. So let's first take a closer look at the developers behind Homeworld Mobile. Here we first come across the official German PC game prize, which is awarded by the Industry Association Game and the German Federal Ministry for Digital Infrastructure and honors selected games that are at least 80% developed and produced in Germany. The quality, structure and media perception of this event can be certainly be criticized, but the credibility and reputation of the projects and games presented here can be proven. The game is developed in Germany by Stratosphere Games, a Berlin-based startup studio that was in the founding phase in 2015-2016 and claims to have former employees from Wargaming, Splash Damage and Ubisoft among its ranks. And in our check we can confirm that so far, so no bad conditions. The publisher is Gearbox Software, which is a true great in the game industry and has some real heavyweights in its portfolio with Borderlands, Brothers in Arms, Nuke Nukem and of course the Homeworld series. So at least we have all the prerequisites to be able to experience a real Homeworld in a mobile variant, so let's get straight into the game. But first of all, I would like to point out that the material shown is an early access beta version, so there may still be bugs and of course it is not yet a final product. Also, some gameplay features are still missing, which will be implemented step by step. After downloading the game from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, we can either log in with our account or a guest login and assign a player name. And don't worry, we won't spoil anything and we'll only show you excerpts from the missions and the story. The story is presented with a typical homeworld intro and a complete English voiceover, which is set in a coherent and appropriate scene. After choosing a faction, which differ from each other with different values, we then also start with a guided tutorial, where we are explained step by step how to control and operate a game. And this is already the game's graphics, which make a very good impression for the category of mobile devices. During the tutorial, we are not faced with a major challenge, but instead go through various tasks step by step, which explain the controls and menu structure of the game clearly. Homeworld veterans will already recognize familiar symbols and options here, and the controls also look familiar. Only a height level is not available, which means that although we can move in three-dimensional space, we can only issue two-dimensional control commands. Already in the tutorial we are introduced to the special abilities of crew members, who, like here, have the ability to fire an extended missile volley. These abilities have a cooldown, as in most MMOs, and are available in a variety of areas, from damage to repair functions, to name just a few examples. Furthermore, in the tutorial we are equipped with our first carrier ship, which is our base. Here we can explore, 
produce, refine collected resources or open and use collected loot. Also familiar from the Homeworld Classics is the tactical view, in which we are shown our scanner ready and our ships with the corresponding symbols. In this view, too, we can give orders and go into battle, which increases the overview and can often be an advantage, especially later in larger battles. In summary, the tutorial offers a good introduction to the game and does not seem forced or boring. Homeworld Mobile becomes really interesting afterwards, however, when we have the opportunity to follow the story or to dive into so-called strike missions, where we can cooperate with up to three other players to fight challenges and strong opponents. Of course, the rewards are even more interesting here. The different characters, which we can also get as rewards, have different functions and abilities, whereby we can use and level up rich officers with active combat abilities or refining officers with special bonuses, for example. But what does a typical mission in Homeworld Mobile look like? We jump into the mission area through a hyperspace jump, whereby the missions usually only take a few minutes. Here the missions differ, among other things, in the defense against various enemy waves, the escorting of NPCs, the scanning of wrecks or the collection of salvage. The controls basically offers two possibilities. Either we select the various targets by the right menu bar and give direct commands here, or remove individual ships by dragging them to the desired target location, or to the desired enemy to initiate the interaction. They come. On the left bar, we can then activate the special abilities of our bridge officers as soon as their cooldown has expired. During missions or by defeating enemies, we collect experience points, whereby we level ourselves up and unlock various rewards. In addition, we receive various tokens to gradually level up our bridge offices, as well as upgrading our modules and weapons with various raw materials. A loot spiral and just one last mission can already be felt in the Early Access version and motivates to complete just one last mission. Regarding the MMO aspect, the interaction with other players, we have already been able to test some missions with up to three other players in the cooperative game mode in the first 10 hours of play, whereby these were all very stable and effective, and were even more fun. Here we can destroy pirate bases or fight particularly strong waves of enemies. In addition, special rewards and a chance of battle loot awaits us here. We have not yet tested a PvP mode, however, as the path to the maximum level still requires a few more hours. In addition, the cooperative game aspect is more interesting for us at first. As a solo player, we would currently estimate about 40 to 50 hours of playtime without any problems before reaching the final level. With regard to the graphics offered, Homeworld Mobile for mobile devices has a very appealing presentation, whereby details are present and even the battles with many opponents and players are displayed smoothly. The effects and animations are successful here, and we only rarely notice graphic errors or problems with collision detection, for example with asteroids. But we come to one of the most important points when it comes to mobile games, any costs and pay-to-win mechanics. Homeworld Mobile offers an in-game shop, where we can buy various resources and currency packages. So far, however, these only offer the possibility of buying time shortcuts, for example for refining resources or for a research mission. We have not yet been able to find any special items or ships behind a payment barrier. The developers also openly state that Homeworld Mobile is completely free to play and that optionally purchasable items are not required for game progress and have no influence on successfully playing the game. Rather, the intention is to allow optional purchases that are not required to be competitive in the game. In our opinion, only the early pioneer packs available during the beta are interesting in the shop anyway which do not offer any unique ships or strong items, 
Hotspot accelerates the entry through a rare bridge officer and the direct starting equipment. But again, we only get the opportunity to get these items and an officer faster. And one more important note, Homeworld Mobile is an early access beta, where all player progress will be reset before the worldwide launch. However, all items purchased with money will reappear in your inventory after launch. In conclusion, Homeworld Mobile has initially delivered what was announced. Good graphics for mobile games, available MMO elements as well as a cooperative play options, a level system for yourself, your crew and your ship, as well as the possibility to collect various loot and resources to strengthen yourself further. We couldn't see any pay-to-win mechanics, although it is of course possible to shorten the game by using real money. However, we only get stronger ships or items faster this way than the regular way. In any case, we had a lot of fun with it and will stay in the mobile homeworld universe for a while longer. And of course, keep you up to date here. See you next time, and as always, see you in the verse.